Hi, hi, this is Veggie. Welcome back to. No! Dumb vegetable! <laughs> He's a hypocrite, don't listen to him. He uh, called me out earlier that I can't say so. And he said so three times in a row. Yeah, so. so. What? Excuse me? <laughs> I can't say so, but you can? What kind of logic is that? Are yeah, you dumb? Oh, yeah, a veggie can, it's okay. No, mm -hmm. veggie sucks. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you said you said mm -hmm, so you agree mm -hmm. that you yeah. suck. Okay. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> you mm -hmm. suck. Uh -huh. No love. <laughs> yes. Well. All right, we're doing we're doing trial prep because this is the last trial in the game, and it's gonna be also the craziest one. Who told one. you that? Why? Who told you that? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just assuming. No, there's chapter 7 still. And chapter 8. What? Yeah? In chapter 9? In chapter 10? No, it ends in chapter 8. There's chapter 9 too? <laughs> I said it ends on chapter 8. Oh wow, okay. I mean, oh wow, okay. Hey look, Veggie's got skills. No way. Oh, you I don't. Any, I don't have any new skills. Yeah, because you're dumb, that's why. Okay. Class trial. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. Look at how small I am. So listen up. If you can figure out who Mukuro's killer is and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win. But if you can't, then I win. And of course, waiting for the loser is super exciting, super heart-pounding punishment. Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not. Bears never go back on their word. Never mind all that, dude. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind only one person, dude? Mmm. -hmm. Don't bother. I already know the answer, man. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're allowed to get me, dude. I'm right on time. I knew it. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, we're, all, we're already discoing? Damn. Yeah. Well, let's have a listen. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. You stole my line. You are all out to get me, I'm sure of it. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. I too have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. Hey, wait, wait, hold on, I, they mean the group photo. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Oh, we remember what button to press? I think it's, veggie, I think it's this veggie. one. Yep. Veggie. <laughs> oh, veggie. You keep on forgetting the dumb controls every single time. <laughs> I know. Every, I know. Then <laughs> do actually read and play more inside the. Button. See, I keep trying to press A to shoot, but that just gets rid of the the words. I actually have to press Y to shoot, which is I don't think I've ever played a game where you have to press Y to shoot. But hey, you, no, you're just weird. That's well, why. It's not just you three. You I have evidence too. Hey, you cheated. The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Hmm. Well, yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine is different. With the picture you have, I'm in it. Wait, so they each have a picture without them in it? That's weird. Yeah. See, I told you Kyoko's right. They sh they shouldn't even bother with it because it's probably defaked. <laughs> but that can't be right. It's in my picture. See? I'm the only one not in it. 
<laughs> oh nice, gym outfits. Wait, look, he fooled me actually runs the lane. <laughs> he ran? I figured as much. In which case, Hero, you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence, man. No, it's not. <laughs> this one too. Just like I thought. Well, I mean, hey, at least we're getting some nice art. <laughs> also, you know this one girl is always looking away. Isn't that enough of a hint? I think so. So the secret in these pictures have been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care, man. You guys are all in this together. That's why I'm the only one missing, dude. But you're in my picture. You're the one trying to, to trick me. <laughs> and Monokuma was just sitting there innocently like, eh? <laughs> so They're the whole, cute. Yay. The whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I lay a trap? A trap? How rude. I'm not a trap. What grounds do you have for such an audacious accusation? Uh, the proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap. Each photo has a certain something in common. One girl is There's one girl is always facing away. There's a connection. What person isn't shown in the group photos? And that person is uh, the one who got the photos. In each case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. Well, yeah, duh. So in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. Oh yeah, I can. I see what you mean now. On the left. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the picture Hero got. He's the only one missing. Now there it was again on the right. As long as we're yeah. talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. Oh, I, 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 Wait, I, that I, was I, too fast. I, I, I want to look at it more. <laughs> Me too. In other words, Monokuma gave each of us a group photo with which that person wasn't included. And then we saw each other picture. We just assumed everyone else was the enemy. Oh, figure it out, huh? Oh jeez, it was obvious. Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? Oh, and Kyoko didn't get one, so she doesn't have one to show us. Yeah, because she didn't care. You know, there might be more of this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone else's pictures. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I What's want digging it. at me? Listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. That's your enough, how I mean. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm sure there's something unusual about these group photos. What is it? I need to compare each of them one more time. Oh, finally, I can actually oh. have a look at this one. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's covered. I see it. Also, um... <laughs> Just gonna point out Ifumi <laughs> and Sakura on the left. <laughs> She's fucking what the cutting a fish. Where, where is she where did she get that dumb fish from? Maybe it's also, a toy. I don't know. Kyoko is so me. <laughs> or Celeste. She's like oh. Or Celeste. Celeste or Kyoko is so me. <laughs> Wait, where is Oh yeah, Celeste's just in the background. Yeah. Oh no, Toko is even more related. <laughs> He just like, oh god, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm having a breakdown. Yeah, his picture. Dina's picture. Yoko's also me sitting. Hero's <laughs> picture. Is that the bunny? Also, look at Toko. She's obsessed with oh, Yakuya yeah, even Oh then. fuck, I, got, I missed it. And mine. I saw it. <sighs> There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Something update. Well, I well, I gave you the hint. If it wasn't by me, but you wouldn't also get it. You're welcome. Can you just forget about the photo already, dude? Yeah, trying to kick me with such an obviously fake photo. I'm still pissed about that, dude. And on top of that, they went to uh, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. 
Well, except Celeste. She just wore whatever the fuck she wanted that day. <laughs> exactly. Mm. So you think they're fake? No, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. Well, that could be used to describe a few things, Monokuma. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There's, like, um... Actually, I, you, this is gonna sound really stupid, but... There's, I think there's a Seinfeld episode where, um, Jerry's, like, confused on whether or not his girlfriend's tits are real. <laughs> and then when she breaks up- What the hell up, are you watching? Yeah, just, just, you know, 90 sitcom. What the hell are you watching? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> You're gross. No, no, it's, it's comedy, trust me. It's not comedy, it's gross. Fuck. What? I just thought it was funny because when she breaks up with him, she just says, Oh, they're really real. And then she slams the door on him. <laughs> I, that's not funny. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the context. You'd have to watch it, I guess. Why do I have to watch that? Even by saying that call or call joke, it makes me even less wanting to <laughs> freaking okay. watch that. All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I just got reminded of that that episode. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna uh, pretend I didn't hear anything then. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh huh, okay. Bun Bun not why impressed. Is, why are you so nervous now? Nah, it's more, I'm very giggly today. You so, you so flustered. I well, don't think- Well, Fluster could work too. Well, why? Mmm, cause Bun Bun isn't impressed. Well, I'm sorry, but... Then impress me? I'm waiting. Okay, Pat Pat, very good Bun Bun. Okay, You, you get rewarded with Bulldog and Monster. <gasps> Bulldog! <laughs> wow, what flavor? Mmm, Rose Bulldog. And have a Pino oh Bulldog. <laughs> And uh, lots of other bulldog flavors. Honey you has remember her... Rose? Honey has yes, her okay. bulldog wish list. But you know, I'm gonna have to write that soon, okay? okay. I know. I'm gonna. I'm trying to make fun, but I'm a, um, let me we'll do a break to make bulldog. <laughs> okay, you impressed me. Because yeah. you remember, I want Rose the most. Well, what are you talking about? There's no way! Yeah, I don't remember ever taking a picture like that, dude. It's gotta be a fake. I'm sure of it, man. Well, you know, can we really be so sure? Eh... Don't get me wrong, I don't remember taking this picture either, but... Is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's a fake. There might be some other reason. You know, like, getting your memories erased. <laughs> well, that's what happened. Some then. terrible reason. An unbelievable, but entirely horrifying reason. Hangman! Amnesia. <laughs> oh, wow, you're right. Oh, I guess. I guess. Alright, where's the S? Give me the S. I guess... Unironically, I didn't know that was gonna happen, but I guess. I mean, I was assuming something like memory, but it makes know, more yeah. sense. It's something I have shook. Whoa. Exposed. Well, I'm gonna check that I'm recording. Hello. 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 Let's say that somehow Hello. we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? I get it. So they all just got lost their memories at the same time. I forgot about the photo. Makes sense, dude. As if he expect you to believe such an unbelievable occult type story, dude. But can I say something? Mm -hmm, what's they up? don't know. As someone who has amnesia, it's not that simple. It's not like you're gonna forget, like, something, like, bam, out of nowhere, and it's there, you know? You, it's, you keep on forgetting, you know? <laughs> it's not like it happens once, and suddenly, yeah, you remember stuff, stuff, 
and nothing happens to your current memory. That's not how it works. You know what I mean? Mm. Can you explain a bit more? Okay. So, yes, it is memory loss, but it's more of a complicated one because basically they got their memories erased because once they got to the school, their memories go poof, gone. Poof. But they call it amnesia, but it's not amnesia because amnesia is that you keep on forgetting. Like oh, you, I see. Uh, you know how it is with me. Like I be talking, 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 and then mid convo I forget something. It just mm -hmm. happens. It's not like I can control it, and it's not like I can predict when it happens. And and it's not like it just stops. You know, it's always there. It, yeah. But for them, it's it's not always there. It just happens once, and you oh, know they live. Bun bun. Me upward, bun bun. Very sad to hear. I'm okay. I have you. Yucky. And you're useful. Yay. Right, hon? Mm hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, we all lost our memories. That's just crazy. It's only natural they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. And there's another way to prove it besides those pictures. Notebook. With more arguments. Notebook. That's a lot of things. Or interview DVD. He's saying yes, but we all got some things that need ya. Since then, this turn is some kind of sci-fi fantasy. I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's even happened. So the idea that we all lost our memories. It's totally stupid, obviously. Actually, I kind of want to check up on like what these say. So let me look at the uh, well, e handbook. Well, I... No, definitely not that. Mm, the handbook no, of his no restrictions. Um... I think it's the DVD one. Well, let's see I thought this is gonna be the notebook, but I guess it's gonna be later. Uh, the DVD about the headmaster and host Pete. They have no memory of the interview. Okay. That sounds yeah, so pretty you reasonable. There must be more evidence in those pictures that we all lost our memories. Oh, yeah. Now it makes sense. So, yeah, the DVD does make sense because we don't remember the DVD. Slow down. Boom. Oh, never mind. Ah. Wow. Veggie is in slow for once. Yay. Those photos, aren't Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. This DVD does the same thing. You're not gonna show us something in the indecent, are you? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. No, we put this in the surveillance camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a video of Sayaka. <laughs> it's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you... I mean all of us, including you. You lie, I never did any kind of interview. <laughs> that just proves my point. Did you shush with your points? We know, dum dum. We don't have, we don't need to hear that you acting all smart like you discovered something new. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Hmm. <laughs> okay. You really need that praise? Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Oh my goodness, that you're a genius. Mm -hmm. I never thought of that. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Oh wow. Oh my. Thank you, baby. Like that? Mm-hmm. You're so smart. Very cute, hon. Right, hon? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. Monokuma, I need a surveillance camera stat. It's like pretty dumb dumb. It's like pretty dumb dumb. 
The headmasters did, in fact, interview me. <laughs> Their face. <laughs> what are you saying? I didn't imagine you'd remember. Let's talk about whether or not I remember. Are you expect me to believe all this? That I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing, and Nisha here, man. To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Eh, uh, something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the Headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The Headmaster sat each of us down one at a time and asked us the same question. He asked if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously, man. Actually, we all said we could. Wait, I'm confused. Why yeah. didn't they let them the let them watch the entire DVD also they wouldn't ask those stupid questions? Yeah, why like did yeah, they why just not? did they just play the DVD, skip through the video to <laughs> show oh, this is you. Pause. <laughs> this is you. Oh. <laughs> this, yeah. this is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Fred, you shut up with your stupid texts. Please, <laughs> it's not funny. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. <laughs> your face. Why? Oh, yeah, that's my face too. After hearing your dumb comments. <laughs> why me? <laughs> yeah, your face is funny, honey. How am I funny now? You'd be scared, unconcerned for me. Okay, then I'd pet you because you're very good. You didn't do that. Yeah, pet. Hmm, okay. Why would you say yes to something like that? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. That sounds like such a bitchy thing I ever <laughs> I don't know. I don't <laughs> remember a thing. That's the most veggiest line I've yeah. ever heard. What the <laughs> hell was that? Veggiest line? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is? You tell me if that's something you wouldn't say? You should write that down. The most veggiest line. <laughs> Why you make fun of me? Like, I, no, it's, it's no, No, it's a good title, I'm saying. What do you mean good title? Are you dumb? No. Uh... Veggiest... Line... I don't know... <laughs> Very good. Eh. Han han han. Han uh, han han. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers? You don't remember choosing to, to live here forever. Or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not, dude. Even if I bought the whole Amnesia thing, the idea that I'd want to live here forever, that's just the same thing. I can't believe that. Insane or not, we can't move forward until we accept it, am I right? You sure are, cause it's all true. <laughs> I know it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed, we only have one path in front of us. At least Byaki is being rational about it. Good job, Dum Dum. Then we really? Yep, you all totally lost your memory at the same time. This is all making my head hurt. Understandable. And this isn't like some kind of normal memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie, you figured that part out too, huh? Of course, there's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. Why do you just steal specific memories? Honey. What? Honey. Honey. What's up? Remember? Hmm? Kyoko said that she's too powerful because she actually had that goal to go to this school. She wanted to expose the headmaster. Yeah? What does that have to do with stealing memories? A lot. Oh. Because if she actually remembers her purpose, she would have easily exploited the headmaster. 
Ooh. True. What do you think? And that's the main reason why she doesn't remember her ultimate. Because she was confused of herself. Any questions on them? I still wasn't asked or ask that. I still didn't answer the question though. How do you steal memories? Uh, machinery, I guess. They yeah. probably use some kind of brainwashing methods. Who knows? Hmm. Rem remember what happened when we stepped into the hope speak? Everything started twisting and everything. Maybe some sort of gas or something. Oh, yeah, that's possible. Or it could be like those, you know, fake scenario, scenario, and then it just started all kind of bl blending in. And, yeah. yeah. Because no part of the school we walked in looked like that, so. But how could someone just steal our memories? How? Come on, come on, come on, that hardly matters right now. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we open up your skulls and mess with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? Hmm, <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories you lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. The original motive? You mean the motive you came up with to try and get us to kill each other? It has something to do with the memories you stole from us. <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Anyways, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuri Gasaba. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else. So until we do that, well either way, you have to explain every last remaining mystery. So, the one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind, that's what we need to expose. Yep, we gotta make some arguments. Hmm, Monokuma control room, that sounds pretty suspicious. So, who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. Now when you think about it, man, is the masked man really here in the school? Of course! They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Uh, what does make me so sure? Exactly, you're just making stuff up. There's no way your mastermind is here. The mastermind is probably a million miles away. Oh, but masterminds always look up in the background, right? Can I try something before remember I remember 16 ask? students? Yeah. Yeah, I want to try something before I ask for help. I'm positive okay, there's sorry. some. If I if I fuck it up, you can tell me. I'm positive they're somewhere in this school, otherwise there's no way they could have controlled that machine. Let me try something. And if it's not correct, then I, um, yeah. I think I skipped it already. <laughs> Oops, hold on, give me a sec. I want to do it on here somewhere. It'll be on, uh, Hina's statement. Well, it'd be nice if I could hit it. Wait, remember, dumb, dumb. It's the R1 to slow down, gotcha. Dumb, dumb. Oh, what's up, pumpkin spice latte? So slow. Ah, oh, so slow. Okay, okay, what is it then? This doesn't huh? make sense, dumb, dumb. Okay, what is the answer then, baby? Well, thing. I say something with Toko related. Because she says they have to be 100 miles away, even though there are 16 students in school. Hmm, okay. Or maybe control room to Toko statement. Hmm. Alright, let's try that out. 
Because Makoto said he wouldn't be able to control that thing. But hold on, that's cool. Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah. I had the right idea, I just did the wrong statement. No, you didn't. Nah. <laughs> There's no question the mastermind somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you, did you find some evidence or something? In the back of the data center, I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So there can't be any doubt, the mastermind's been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case, there can also be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us, Monokuma said to him earlier. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how would they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here, man? It's not me, I'm not the mastermind. Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto. What? Why me? That is super weird how you're the only one who, who survived with the... Uh, this is right being a sick unit. Ah, uh, yeah. The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, right? Ah, oh, nuts. You got me. Wait, what are you trying to say? Everyone, hey, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The mastermind's tries in will be come clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed my girl. That's a good point. Rather than wasting our time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. Yeah, well, how much time will we already spend about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? You want something to talk about? I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Makuro's fatal injury was. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. Mm -mm. No, that doesn't actually let her kill her. Was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? Hmm. Mukuro's actual cause of death must have been uh, the stab wound. No, dum dum. Oh, four. No, the stab wound was more a colorful flash. It proves that you're still in the last cross row. Oh yeah, now you mention it. Looks like I just embarrassed myself in front of everyone. <laughs> it must have been, uh, the other wounds. Oh no shit, dumbass. All the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. Hey, now, hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right, dude? The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. I have made it pretty clear. These wounds were made at least a few days ago, man. So they can't possibly be what killed the dude. Huh, <laughs> consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? Uh, what if when the we discover her body, she already been dead for several days? Yep. If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. That doesn't make any sense. It's because she had all those wounds before she even came here. Huh? How do you know that? Isn't that obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means you know. You're wrong. Ah uh ha -huh. she denied me ha 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 before I could even say anything. Ha 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 ha, come on, I mean, you think I... I don't be okay, at least listen to what I have to say before you deny me. Yeah, if you're so sure we're gonna deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? Gotta be argumental. Ooh. Probably profile. Let me look at her profile. Uh, Mukra did not have a single scar when she came to Hoax Peak. And then those are her features, that doesn't really matter. 
Flicker was the ultimate soldier. She must have been in a hundred different battles. So when you think about it... Obviously she kept all those wounds. Are you finished? Soon something, I don't know, I can't read that. Kinda hard to read when it's I rotating. I made me go all kissy. Damn, I, there wasn't anything key about it. Yeah, cause she said she doesn't have, she had a lot of wounds, but that's obviously BS. Oh, dumb dumb, that's what I said, but thank you very much. Where, where is the, uh, oh. exactly, exactly dumb dumb. <laughs> credit. Oh, uh, credit, bun bun, very good. No, Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered the school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. This is nice and cool, actually, it's kind of refreshing. Maybe it's all because of the master's training. <sighs> Anyway, so we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. Then examining her body, I found that her son like and her wounds came after she was already dead. Unless well, anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Nice. You got injuries. If that's what killed her, man, then does that mean she's already been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little master of what happened last night? Oh, my favorite image is back! Oh, my veggie's favorite image. Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. If Muku had already been dead for several days, certainly it could have been her. So, who was it that attacked you? The identity of the one who attacked me. It has to be the mastermind, right? Yeah. The one who attacked me was the true mastermind. Because we already discussed that the hand doesn't match up with Mukuro because they have no uh, tattoo. No, dum dum. It's because they try to frame... Uh, they actually plan to kill you so or that. they frame Kyoko because oh. she, the, they knew Mastermind knew that Kyoko was the closest to Makoto mm. so by killing you it was pinpointed to Kyoko already that also makes sense when we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask oh <laughs> there's the second time we've shown that I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me, but I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. The true identity of the mask attacker is Mukuro Ikasaba. At least that's what I think. <laughs> Do you have any, have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? Ah, uh, there's no way Mukuro's the one that attacked me. Even if I didn't see their face. Your hand. Alright, third time's a charm. Mukuro... Did you love your favorite picture? <laughs> Mukuro had a very obvious Fenrir tattoo comparing to the mask attacker. It should be obvious. And it's time to dance again. Let's go. And if it's so obvious, then pinpoint Tom Tom. Monokuma 5. five. Is this one of those ones where I have to like grab other points? Oh no. Um. This one's just saying about their wounds and death and stuff. Mm -hmm. You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you, it was Mukuri Kasaba. 
You're wrong, even without seeing your face. There's another part of the London tag we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh, and what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot? <laughs> or perhaps the left foot? Or could it be the hips? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> well, which one? Which one? Hand? Or what hand? I'm trying to remember which hand it was. Did it say on her profile? No, it doesn't. Which one? Which one's the one that says her like what arm it's on? Not the Malakuma file, Dum Dum. Um, it doesn't say they have a tattoo on their hand though. Hmm. Well, I never did read her fatal injury actually. Let me see what that says as well. Uh, it's just, it's just a bunch of wounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, okay. Let me, let me help. Here, I love. If she's laying, I think. Hold on. I'm trying to remember the picture. Oh, was. I say right hand. Yeah, right hand sounds about right. I think it's right hand. The most hand. notable feature of the tattoo that marked her membership in Fenrir. The tattoo is in a certain easy spot area. I'm gonna say right hand because that's what my instinct's telling me. No, that's because that's what I told you, Dum Dum. Thank you, love. No, it's left hand. I guess it's left. <laughs> oh, well, I'm confused if it's right hand for us or right hand for her. Yeah, that's always gonna trip me up. Well, I don't get it. Boom. What? Good job, Dum Dum. What, what did I do wrong? Good job, Dum Dum. I, di I did both the hands. Am I missing something here? Did I not just do both what? of these already? Don't do the foot. Or the hips. Maybe I need to grab the Mukuri Kasaba thing and do it on the right hand? I mean, I can but try why? That. I mean, because none of the hands work. None of the hands work. Yeah, none of the hands work. Did you come on, what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. I mean, it's worth a try, right? None of the hands work. <laughs> None of the hands work. None of the... Oh, that, yeah, it was. That was oh, it. yeah. None of the hands work. None of the hands work. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, come on, what is that supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, hello. Hello. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. Mukuro had a tattoo in her right hand. If I, I, R, C. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. You're welcome. Thank you. I, I remember it was the right hand. But I saw Where's the right the hand. Oh, Bun Bun gets more mom was for credit. Mama? Yep. Where's the mom was? Yeah, mom was. I saw the right hand Where's of the, the person who attacked me. Where's the mom? All right, make that uh three times now. Four, Four times. Four times, dum And there was no Did such thing. Where's tattoo. the mom? Mwah. And it's your favorite mwah. And it's your favorite picture. Yeah, my favorite picture. So there's no way that person behind the mask was Mukuro. Yeah, well, okay, you got me. I guess it wasn't her. Shit. That still doesn't prove it was me. I mean, he's right, it doesn't. But it wasn't her. Could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hino, Toko, Hina. Wait, no, Hero, Hino, okay, whatever. Um, um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Your hand, your hands no work, now your brain no work. <laughs> and I have all sorts of alibis for that entire night. Yeah, we're in the gym tearing you apart, so it couldn't have been any of us, man. 
Okay, sure, Hello, it couldn't Cap have been any of you. What about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Definitely not Kyoko because her hands. <laughs> she has scars on her hands. Uh oh. Thank you, Red. No snappy comeback? Did I score a bullseye? A tenfold? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond the shadow of a doubt it was in me. She's gonna take her gloves off? Before yeah. she can say anything. Or anyone can say anything. Here comes the big reveal. Kyoko was removing her gloves. Your hands! Without thinking, I lied about a- <gasps> It was more than just a little burned skin. Awful, isn't it? it? Happened when I was first learning to be a detective of an experience. Oh, I'm gonna say this. I actually started reading her uh, diaries. It's official. Oh, and uh, it's probably one of the most bittersweet thing because it actually explains what happened exactly. Ooh, okay. With her hands. But I have to tell you separately what goes on because that's off game. Mm -hmm. It's like Yoko's lore, but before the game happened, you know? Like as she was young and she was learning to be at Texas. And she had those missions and she also had this friend. But I like the sound of that. Well, well, the others, uh, she, she, her hands are like that because she tries to save her friend. What, is her friend something. in a fire or something? Possibly. Mm. I don't know, I, they died though. I thought so. you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get uh, another step closer to unmasking them up to my, it doesn't really bother me. Yoko seemed to savor the words she said them. Then she put her gloves back on. Yeah, it was considered just red and just lines all over. So, <laughs> you saw that? Mm hmm. You saw that, really? Painful. My scar should be just sufficient as proof. Oh, five times! Look at all this person who attacks you have scars like mine. No, not at all, I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. Oh, <laughs> he's just awful. On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours. Oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? I do hope it didn't hurt your feelings. Oh uh, no, you can't say whatever you want. Sure, as long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? But I'm not cornered just yet. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's true. All we know r right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, dude. We don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you without a doubt, she died after a little killing game began here. Then somehow she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And as she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Did the culprit stash her away somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? It was. She would have been totally de decomposed, like, just like your brain. Ooh, got him. And this is where the brain. morgue comes in handy. Double. Then she was being stored somewhere. But to hide a body here? To just store it somewhere? There's only one place. I can't think of anywhere by else the lot. body could have been stored. The pool, by the way. The <laughs> yeah, the pool. Oh yeah, hide the body in the pool, that'll definitely help. Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the biolab. Not probably, it was, dumbass. Veggie, you picky, you would probably say the same thing, but... Yeah. Veggie trying to smart and I was like... <laughs> um, 
excuse me, is that probably, but most definitely? Like, mm. Why is Veggie fighting with himself? That doesn't make sense even. Yeah, it makes sense. It's not like something I do. Let me remind you, Veggie said hands are not working. <laughs> Like, Honestly, that, 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 that might be a good title idea too. Did you, why are you obsessed with titles? Well, as soon as funny. something funny happens, I mean, oh my goodness, perfect title. Title yeah. words, yeah. Do you always act like that? Always? Yeah. Because I like, I, like, I like coming up with a good like title on the spot. Well, with others too? Yeah. Jeez, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Honey is not impressed again. Okay, listen. I I can deal with you because I actually know you very well. Yay. I mean, I'd say best. And you I do. love you. So I don't love mind. You too. Yay. See? So I'm used to Veggie being this dumb. But <laughs> come on. <laughs> with others, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, why you giggle, hmm? I mean, you said it's embarrassing. It is. Why is that? Because... I don't, let me think of an example. Um... Uh, 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 oh yeah, hold on. Oh yeah, imagine if something fun happens or something, you know? It's, it's between us. And then I was like, oh, Anna immediately uploaded it everywhere and posted it as my caption. <laughs> like, why? I mean, like, you, I mean, I mean you sort of do that on Insta. Well? I mean, you sort of do that on Insta. Like, if Edgy says something silly, you're like, you make that your, like, story or whatever. You make me mean notes. But your that's no something your else. Notes, yeah. Because that's, the notes are, like, status on DC. Yeah. But what I mean is, imagine if we take a cute pig or a wholesome pig, but it turns out silly because all oh, are like, oh, honey, look, there's this creepy guy in the background. <laughs> and we call him something, like, I don't know, um, Mr. Hattie. Mm -hmm. And then, and then Reggie, oh my goodness, so funny. I'm like, oh yeah, perfect, gonna post it everywhere like as my caption hashtags and comments such like you know what I mean? yeah it kind of ruins them the vibe that i remember not the vibe more like the uh how, how do i call it the energy i think mm -hmm. like if you have everything with the joke it's gonna get still really fast mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah you're not mad at me? No, of course not. You're funny, okay? Yay, funny you're very, veggie. Yeah, you're funny, but don't don't make titles some weird jokes that no one gets. Okay. Out of context, too. Okay, thank you. Goodbye, you lad. You mean, on the fifth floor? That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body, and keep the body preserved at the same time. And you're also saying the body was moved from the biolab to the garden. And I have no doubt that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. The proof that shows the body was carried from the biolab to the garden. There's something that made its way from the biolab to the garden. The tarp? What makes me so sure that the body was carried from the biolab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Honey? Um, yeah? I'll be back. Okay. okay. Huh? Okay, we're back. Uh, what happened, Vigi? Uh, Bun Bun had to take a quick BRB. Yeah. It's okay now. Okay, good.
I'll let you read it again. Uh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, okay, of course. Uh, oh, it's says by a lot. Holy cow, how'd you notice that tiny little thing, dude? Mikado's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. Uh, this proves that the tarp originally came from the bio lab. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the bodies to the garden, they must have grabbed the tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply wiped it, as if it was to protect against the sprinklers and put their clothes on it afterwards. Wow, you made everything sound so amazingly consistent! But that's just a wild guess. There's your evidence. Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved. There is no evidence. I'll simply explain what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Worked up? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering the se your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind, dude? I see the bio lab contains uh, an inconsistent one. So maybe it can be overlooked. An inconsistency in the bio lab? Could you be talking about... La la la, I can't hear you, oh la la! Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. <sighs> I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the bio lab. Could you be talking about... Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? That one thing? <laughs> what do you think? I'm talking about your family. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. Yeah, I did. I was like in chapter one, bro. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? <laughs> that sprite of him looks really uncanny for some reason. I can't explain why. Yeah. Uncanny, oh, Bowie? How do you know that? No, I just said uncanny. Oh, so you don't know uncanny really? No. Okay. Why are you bringing that up now? Your mom, your dad, your little sister? What do you think's happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about that. I'm done, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. <laughs> Monaco will be like, hey, Makoto, guess what? Yo, mama! Yeah, I need to calm down. I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the bio lab. So if I want him to shut up, I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be that one area where the numbers just don't match up. The numbers? numbers? Hey, let's do some DDR, oh, bitch! Oh yeah, seven. Oh, somehow you remember the controls to that. Somehow. You're really good at that, yeah. Thank you. I also was pretty good at it, but I'm good at it in this. Oh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you, bitch. Can't hear you. Let's change. 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 Oh. I didn't realize Thomas. I was supposed to change. Thomas. Bio lab secret. No, is that not it? Lights. Bio lab lats. Lights? Okay. Let's? <laughs> Let's. I didn't even realize Let's? there was multiple ones. Oh my goodness. I can't. The inconsistency Kyoko was talking about is the lights. Oh! What are you talking about? What about the lights? Like I said before, the bio lab acts as a morgue. 
And as part of that, the giant refrigerator was installed there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. You say that so that when a slot has a body in it, a blue light will turn on. In other words, if the blue light's on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in. And there were only nine. Why is that many? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. Nine lights doesn't make sense. The number of lights should be... Ten? Yeah, there's only six of us left. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly sauce. Suspicious? Why? That's simple. Just figure out who's died here so far. It should become clear. Is there going to be traumatic uh, flashback? Oh, no. That's right. That's the key to solving this mystery. Yes, there is going to be traumatic yes. stuff. Sai could die first. No, the most Jinko traumatic was second. One. Leon was third. Jihiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Taka was sixth. Hifumi was seventh. Celeste was eighth. Celeste. Sakura was ninth. And victim number ten was Mukuro. Well, technically not number ten, but yeah, I get what you're saying. So, do you see what, is, what happened? Mm -hmm. They reused that body. <laughs> One, one of them. Yep. Which is pretty messed up. Uh, hmm. So you gotta recall who had multiple wounds, let's say. And you should narrow it down because it was a female. Mhm. Mm With red nails. Hmm. So ten people, no? That's right. Any other number should make you immediately sus. But according to the lights in the biolab, only nine people were being stored in there. Hey, you're saying a dead body has been reported and just up and disappeared? I got it. The mastermind is trying one of the bodies to get rid of everything. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body since they actually killed her. And yet her body was left alone. Then whose body is this appeared? It may very well be that none of them disappeared. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body interfere much? The Malakuma's execution, they have apparently been 10 deaths. There were only 9 bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yep. I'm completely lost. And the number of victims be less than the number of murders. The reason there are less bodies than murders. The explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? What would it take for that to make sense? Um, first, the first, same person I said from that. Twice. I said that. Yeah, well, what, if, what about if the same person was killed twice? Eh, killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered, and then murdered again. Murdered, murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings, but still only nine victims, right? Basically, you're right, I guess, but still something like that. What did it have happened? No, it did what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro, so she was killed as someone else. Yep. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden? No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else, come on. Besides, who could that someone else have even been? Apology, you? Any guesses? I'll just let the game play out. But do you have an idea? Mm, well, yeah, I'm thinking about it. It's pretty obvious. After the hints I gave you. <laughs> All you have to do is look at, at those bodily injuries. Oh, 
first and that's what that will become obvious. Nothing's gonna become obvious. Because Yoko's totally delusional. Time to dance! Yeah, I'm gonna argue against you. Only Monokuma File 5 again? Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Saika Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata? Chihiro Fujisaki? Mondo Iwata? Kiyotaka Ihimaru? Hifumi Yamada? Celestia Lil Whatever? Or maybe Sakura Ogami? No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. So, oh. I have to select one of them, right? Or do I have to select that and shoot at it? And yeah. shoot at one of the names? One of those people will use twice. So I shoot their name at murder twice? Yeah. Okay. Or the other way around? Well, that's the thing. It's never, it's never obvious whether which way it is. Well, okay, just try them, please. Mukuro died from the wounds she had all over her body. Wasn't there someone else who suffered the same sort of injury? I think the way Monokuma does things is kind of funny. Like, he just puts pink words over everything. <laughs> I find that kind of cool. I don't know why. Yeah, she get more seconds. Alright, let's speed this up. Boom. Okay, it was that way then. Yeah. I'm the yelling! Most, the most tragic, brutal death was in day twice. <laughs> Junko. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Yep. Impaled. Well, remember what happened to her? She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered... Is it the same as much? Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that I match up. Yeah, I mean, if you just have a quick look, it looks very similar, don't it? Oh yeah. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. Also, I gave you a hint. Yes, thank she you. She has red nails. So let me see if but I have this straight. But this is stupid, and he doesn't listen. Oh, stupid also, Reggie. they have the same. Just stop trailizing me, please. Junko, or someone <laughs> going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Reach one button. Stop opening the stupid section, please. <laughs> that time You're was so an accident. Annoying. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuri Kasaba. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be those same injuries. And it's really true. Mukuri and Junko are the same person. Wait, so then... Uh, what does that all mean? It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. What is going on, Jesus? <sighs> Not so true, I did the mastermind? Who is it? Who's behind all this, man? I already know the answer to that. I'm Mokuro. She's still alive. She took Junko's body. I mean, it looked like she was the one who died. So Mokuro is still alive. She gonna be? Well, silent. I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Mokuro alive? 
the one that's still alive is Mukuro, but can we really believe that? Nah, there's no way. There's no way Mukuro Kasaba's still alive. Hmm. Fatal injury profile. Hmm. It's either profile or the fatal injury, maybe. The body we found in the garden. It wasn't Moku. Then she's still alive? That's right, she made it look like it was body was hurt. So the mastermind true idea is Moku. What do you say, Marakuma? Do you give up? Hmm. <laughs> Why is hmm an option? <laughs> I had to be true. That couldn't have been her body we found in the garden. Is that really possible? Uh, I don't know. Let me let me check the profile and stuff again. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Well, now I'm just confused. What? I don't know what I should do here. Oh my god, that's true, that wasn't my crew. Because there was. Hmm. Why well, I gotta prove it how and why? Yeah, how am I gonna prove it? Um, uh, I'm just gonna try some shit and see what works. Well, obviously it was a fatal injury, Thomas. Okay, uh, could be her profile. Okay, that was it. That was obvious. No, the body we found in the garden was Mukro. That's one thing we can be sure of. The body's appearances and measurements are consistent with her records. Right, Kyoko? She is 5 foot 6 inches tall and weights 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 31, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. Oh yeah, that's right. What? I forgot that the corpse in the profile matched up. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. There's no question it's her. What? If you read the dumb truth, boys, literally said it was consistent. Good job, Tom. Yeah, I'm just dumb. Nice reading. You are. That's why I have to help you with that. But no! And then I say, definitely not fatal injury. Just fatal injury. Oh, no, no, Come on, dum dum. Uh, why? Uh, why are you with me? Mm, hmm. He loves being silly. No, but why am I with you? Because mm, you're comfy. Yeah, but not useful. Why? What? Am I useful? Yeah, you are. But. But if Mercury is not the master, I think who's actually still alive? Someone's made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. It's me. Oh, it's Honey. Look, it's Honey. Hey. Junko. Junko's still alive. It's the only possibility. Are you sure about that? No, John Cena. Huh? I admit it. Since Muko is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. Yeah, third reminder. But we Honestly, saw... that's the most tragic death and I won't forget anyone who let her die. Like, she not only was Cosplay as a different person and she died like that, jeez. Don't oh. you feel bad at least? Yeah. But we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. Oh well, yeah. Oh shit. If Junka was still alive, the death we saw could have been 
some kind of charade. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Now you mention it. I did check, absolutely, and I can say for sure she was dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. So the idea that she's still alive... It must be wrong. Then you fit right with your previous statement? <laughs> I knew you gave it your best shot, but too bad! I guess your conclusion was a dud. Ha <laughs> ha! Too bad, too bad! This case hasn't been decided just yet. Oh? You haven't given up already, have you, my photo? Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easily. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Wait, I'm confused. Died. They can't be Why did they have... story. Hold up. Why, why do they assume that Junko is dead? Hmm. I don't know. No, I'm confused. Why? 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 <laughs> when Mukuro... They agreed that Mukuro died because she was, you know, Junko, their decree. Because, yeah, that was, that was her, uh, you know, that was her corpse. It matched up the records. So it was Maku. Then why are they confused on saying that Junko died? When did she die then? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? But still, if she were alive somehow, could it be that Junko's not the one that died? It wasn't well, Junko, but someone else entirely? Maybe she used some sort of trick. It can be like disguise or something. Well... What? 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 Rep Replic Replicate? Yeah. Replicate? Oops. Re replaced? Replaced? I think I fucked up. <laughs> I mean, you fucked up. I mean, let me, let me see if it works. But gee, if it was wrong, it would have. Oh, okay. Don't kick the ladders out. Oh, okay. I thought it was replicated for some reason. That's it. What if I she switched places with someone? Should it be an imposter? <laughs> imposter? Yeah. No, there, there's a Yuther Among Us joke of the day. No, but that's what happened, basically. Uh, but you can, you can go with... You... Huh? You can go with imposter, body double, um, disguise. There's a lot of words you could use for disguise, that. Disguise, but mainly imposter because Junko was like a sage. She was meant to pretend someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Switch places. That's right. Before the spirits could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Specifically, Mukuro Ikisaba. And that would make Mukuro's corpse the one that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything matched Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about the switching places thing, but... It had to be Junko got stabbed to death, right? Yeah, you're saying they switched. Why could they even have done that? Why when she was about to die, like, if she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? To the point, there's just no way they could have switched like that. So maybe the whole idea is wrong. There has to be some way. I had to figure out how to explain how they could have switched. Um, At the beginning. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. What? From the beginning? Yes, from the moment we first met. Oh yeah, I have a theory on what may have happened. No. What if, like... You know, Mukuru Ikasaba... She got her memory erased... And then she got, like... Brainwashed into thinking she was Junko. Maybe that's how this works. Uh, if that's when they switch. Yes, we get well, it. Wouldn't, wouldn't that, that be even sadder then? It would be. She, she never remembered who she, she was. Yeah. And they wouldn't have had, oh, to, no. had to switch at that moment of death, right? After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Hey, hold on. He's saying the Junko we first met. It was actually Mukuro all along. Oh, it's me! Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. And we already met her? I had like a normal conversation with her. When we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. Wait, no. You're wrong. What? Because she... She did pretend to someone else. Because so, she was all that... Uh, you know, ultimate fashionista and she had that personality on go. Hmm. So, so she did actually try to be someone else. So it's oh. not like... Hmm. So Muku could have simply told us her name was Junko. And we never would have known the difference. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait, Bumoka has a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Huh. Yuka never had any tattoo like that, did she? That's a good point. She could have hidden it with, with foundation or something like that. See, that's what I said, she had red nails, like Junko. Oh. If she did, it likely melted away with the explosion. Close to the two after the body was extinguished. That'd be pretty smart if that was the case. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Luffy's body. <laughs> yeah, Dum Dum, what did I tell you? Hello? Hello? They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met her for the first time. But if she really did use the foundation... Right, even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I can say for sure it was a movie. Oh, well, I'm glad nobody noticed that we were at home when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Malako. We can't deny it anymore. Wait, so uh, this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning, man? If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan, to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her? In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back? I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense! Junko is my secret identity? <laughs> As if! Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? I tried to protect her identity? When did I do that? Uh, so he still refuses to admit it, but he can try to deceive us all he wants. It doesn't matter, because I've already figured it out. He tried to hide Junko's identity not just once, but twice. The first time was during our late latest investigation. Hmm. Them the control room. True. With the with the you no know, patch. Okay, and 
don't think this is why I need the quarter Monokuma. Fuck. Oh. I thought it was with the hatch thing. Um. Hmm. What else could it be? Oh, the interview DVD. Oh. Okay. While I was in the AV room watching the DVD of our interviews with the headmaster. Cause notice how it got cut off before Junko came on screen? Yeah. It wasn't just the monitor. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. Wow, no way! What the hell just happened? You made sure I couldn't finish watching the video, and the reason you did that is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Ah, uh, yeah. If everyone's in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up. And Makoto saw the real Junko. It would have been pretty totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. That whole powder average thing was a fluke. No, it wasn't a fluke. The Mastermind definitely orchestrated that power outage. And that's not the only time they tried to hide Junko's identity. The Mastermind tried to cover up one other piece of evidence. I gotta reveal that. And you gotta play DDR with me again, baby! I need to shoot. It's not that. Eh. It's one of these. Fuck. No. Also, you have one heart. Oh, shit. Oh, that, that's not good. <laughs> oh, very kind of the debate, yeah? You suck. Sucks to be you, man. Okay, uh, let's rhythm it up again. And this time pick the right statement. It wasn't the photo of Kyoko or the DVD. Alright, well, at least we know now. <laughs> good night. Oh, good night. Very nice. Okay, it's the uh, group photo. Oh. Yeah, I told you about the group photo, remember? Yeah, she well, was always looking away. The video wasn't the only thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why didn't that cross my mind? The video wasn't the only thing that you tried to cover so up. Slow, so slow. You did the same thing Make with this group photo. So slow. Oh. Oh. I noticed it just a little while ago when we were all comparing the photos we'd gotten. In all the photos, there's a certain similarity, an unusual circumstance. What's well, so unusual about them? them? Hmm? If, what? If I didn't tell you, you would have figured it out, so you're welcome. Thank you, honey. Where's the credit? Hmm? Wah, wah. Hmm? Wah, wah. The unusual circumstance common to all these pictures. Boom. 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 
The unusual circumstance is Junko's face. Her face is ugly. Junko's face. No, she's really pretty. She's, she, Come on. she's pretty. I'm just messing. The one thing You're common mean. to Emma. Just, uh, yeah. Common to every single photo yeah. is that you can't see her uh. face. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness, how many times are they gonna show it? Whoosh, whoosh. It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? And on top of that, in this photo, you can see that Mukro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. I mean, I did notice that Mukro has gray eyes, just like the fake Junko. With all that no. in mind, there's no, no doubt what... No. The girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why They're you had different. to have pictures that didn't show her face. They're different. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have been clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Uh, Zanadu! Oh, if everything I got on set is true. Junko and Makuro switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro and had taken their place, making it look like she died. And the real Junko is still alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation, this killing game. She's a true mastermind and the ultimate despair. Oh, I'm gonna do times two! If this is our identity on the crimes, the mastermind have been exposed. No, wait, hold on! Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything right now. Closing climax. Oh yes, so we're gonna end it with that. So then, oh. hmm. next time we're gonna... Let's see... Okay, you need help? I'm gonna look at these real quick. Um, Why you can help you? So let me see, uh, we have the whole team here. Yeah. It'll be a picture of Jinko and... Yeah. I guess there's a picture here, right? That might be it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Junko is actually Mukuro. So oh, and the dramatic death. The Oops. dramatic death, Junko dies, but it's actually Mukuro. Okay, yeah. and then, um... The culprit. I think it'll be this? Yeah, yeah. she covers. And then her face. Uh, that, and then, let's see, what could this be? I feel like this oh, yeah. goes Kyoko here. Will be. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Or do I mix, or do I, I think I mix them no. up. No, oh, look, 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 hey, hey, what? stop. Go, go back. And what's up? Look, what is that? The culprit with the body. That or this? No. This. What is that? I mean, I... Is that Makoto sleeping or is... What? I, that, that, that I, think, I think that's another thing for the body. Oh, okay. I mean, I could, I could also switch no, it with this, me. but if, if it's wrong... Okay, hang on. Let me look ahead real quick. Um... I think this makes sense. Yeah. Because that kind of looks similar to that. The other thing with um, Kyoko, I guess, because these are very similar. Yeah. Yeah, that, that seems about right. And then Act 5. Um, oh, wait. Maybe this goes... It's this. It's the body. The body? The body. Yeah. Maybe. That, that, make, that would make sense. And then the Mastermind... Um, fire? I don't know. Why fire? Well, either that or, oh, no, this. or that. Yeah, that. Let's try it out. Let's see, let's see what we're wrong about. Well, veggie is wrong about this. <laughs> veggie is wrong as usual. We met the yeah. ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived here. But that wasn't the real Junko. Well... The girl we saw before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukui Kusaba.
but it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma, in other words, the mastermind, Jinko and Oshima. Okay, that one was right then. Her body was kept in the bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue, until Junko decided to put her body to use. Yep. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab using the tarp to carry her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who had proven to be one big thorn in her side. Also, she, her body should have been covered in holes. The amount of mm -hmm. like needles she was breaking. Uh. Meanwhile, she wanted us to all think Mukuru was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. Ching. Oh, I think I mixed them up. Uh oh. I think I got. I think I, I think they were in the wrong order. Let me see if that's it. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think I had them in the wrong order. So she put on a mask and then attacked me. After making sure I had gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Yep. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This is all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one and the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. Yeah, okay, so I only got one of them wrong. Finally, by strapping yeah. a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's true identity. So she had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd been in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder. And the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. The real Junko and Oshima. Woo. No. That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? What are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on, it's time you finally reveal yourself. It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep on fighting? Give up. Give it up, Jimbo. The game's over. Over? <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! Poof! Oh, yeah. oh shit. See, she's different. She has blue eyes. Uh -huh. Told you. It's the queen, my face. We have been waiting, waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. If you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with half of the entire world. We've ever drawn up to the deed already. We will grant you honor, status, and some of our home cooking. Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? No. Oh, did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. It's been so long since I've had an audience, even if I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. Damn, you're right, she is pretty cool. This yes. is the mastermind? She's the real Jinko and Oshima. Anyways, looks like a Finally being set free. Having to play Malakuma all the time, day after day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory or like a slow suicide. I got bored so easy, you know? Your face? Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred and two hours combined. I feel like this is the first time I've seen you. No, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her somewhere. It was definitely before I got to this school. Um, before arriving at school? That's right. 
It was before I ever came to the school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. And you were on it. Yeah, her eyes are definitely blue there. What else is this blue? She's in general different than most girls, you could tell. I tell, but I not different. Moku has speckles. Oh. And she also has smaller eyes. And she has gray eyes. And she also has a bow on mm -hmm. one of the pigtails. Yeah, she represents hope and despair because it's white and black. Also, her, her bow tie is different. Mm hmm. Yeah. See? I know. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began. Now I see the freckles. Yes. Sometimes the lie is necessary to keep things moving along, would you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. I'm me, a Mukuro's Mukuro. She tried her best, but there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. But even if they're twins. Twins? I know, it's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admire it. So basically, Murphy and I have a stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud, that's Murphy. The younger sister, smart and cute, that was. Yeah, <laughs> me, Jungle, Bucket, and Nashima. Damn, and <laughs> F bomb much? And together we were the Despair Sisters, aka the ultimate despair. Wow, she's a totally different person now, dude. She's crazy. Like I said, I get bored using this hell. I even get fucking bored with myself. But if you're twins, why do you have different lost names? Uh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? I mean, it's new to you, dumbass, but it bores me to tears answering the same questions over and over. Just make up whatever answer you want, I don't give a shit. The truth is fucking lame anyway. And if she was your twin, that means you kill your own sister? And for reasons you ran darker than the ocean, huh? As if! Well, I suppose I'd better explain. For my clan to work, someone has to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. So the so-called master might have to operate a monofuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after a look at the situations, the men, it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties because naturally she turned out to be the letdown of the family, leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work out alongside me, but. You would have been useless to me that way. Besides, it seems to seem like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. We yeah, had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repressive. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. We now the ultimate fashionista, so as has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's why why you switched identity. Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than my 
Yeah, cool. It was a lost cause. She is nothing more than a bit of player. An extra unworthy of lines. Being the other disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to go get killed right, right away. Which is personally why I killed her. I mean, everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. <laughs> Dang, you get bored easily? I've never been a stickler for following the plan to the letter, you know? If I put everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring. So I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mithra to make a little point. In other words, Mithra's death was one one sided for her immediate act of betrayal. Just as Rook says, the Mithra was guilty, must have been as surprised as anybody else. Was supposed to. Why me? Hey, <laughs> hey. So you figured that? Well, you're right. There's no way Mukur could have pulled off such a convincing performance. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? So I guess that's why she was killed off early on. Yeah. How can you talk like that? You sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? That's what you got to so hot under the collar? Jeez, I'm sorry to sound it's sure skin. We are the ultimate threat, you know, so we never had any kind of hope by our expectations. No, I failed to speak as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, I created tears of dull despair. So that's why I'm for us. We have a big deal whether we die or kill. We're just those kind of people. We can't do anything. We always be filled with despair, so when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murder your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. We were twins. How could I not be sad? That's why it got me so excited. She sure has a lot of different sprites. <laughs> and voices. <laughs> that too. Huh? Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That life just filled with so much despair. You can't help but have a super in front of it. It's like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. It feels just feels so good. What the hell is wrong with you, dude? And my sisters too. And I'm always dead. I think she just must have. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else. You must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. Uh, hold on, I was Veggie. taking a drink. Uh. Veggie, hurry up. Phew. I knew you couldn't be some kind of ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning on this pair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, Dennis had chills crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts. You're saying I don't compare to some lonely beast and can only kill the weak, right? So I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human? No, I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah, Master's way more perfect. So on top of everything else, she's got that noble blood. Huh? Don't you mean had that noble blood? 
What did you just say? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet. Man, you guys are so slow. You haven't even slow solved all the mysteries. And yet, here you are. Yap, yap, yapping away. Are you talking about our memories? You feel very soft as Mr. Right? I'm the killer, so how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the wrinkle of your missing memories, then you can start quoting. I mean, true, I didn't want to know about that. Damn straight. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're going to solve all these mysteries, and then we'll have our victory. <laughs> I can't wait. Alright then, let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us, man? I know pure prince just take me on those centuries and means. I got it. It must have something to do with our entrance exam. Hmm. Yes, sir. At least give us a hint. Your brains are like sponges, all drippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? back to what Monokuma told us. The memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to. Um... Motives? Let's try that. You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? But you do remember, after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented to you had a specific theme to it? Well, I didn't know that. See? Yep, you got it. That's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? theme of the motive Monokuma gave us for the first murder. Monokuma gave us those DVDs. On my DVD was footage of my family. On Saika's was her and her friends. They had a dream they all shared. So the first murder and the motive we are given was... Uh, love triangles. Human connections. <laughs> love triangles. Yeah, love triangles. You. The driving force behind the motive he presented us was at that point, human connections. Ding ding ding, you got it. Remember those DVDs that I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate the desire to escape and to kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it. Yeah, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay, time for the next question. Um, so what was the next thing on the second motive? For the second murder, the motive's theme was... That's when we got those weird envelopes. It was, uh, secrets, right? Um, <laughs> the past. It was our past, right? Yay, my car got right again! That time the team was... Immersive memories and secrets! Yeah! And the whole reason Mountain what he did was to protect his secret. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, uh, okay, so the next question. Ooh, what was the motive for the third murder? The motive theme for the third murder was... The reason Celeste turned to murder was... She wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men. So that time the motive for murder Funny. was greed. Oh. I was gonna say wealth, but greed is good too. 
It was yeah, money, it was wasn't money. it? Greed. See you let's try. Hell yeah, you're coming again. Well, that's true, it was money, so let's kill him for me. I think I've a little personal game. He agreed, let's do all kinds of death and destruction. What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? Ha ha ha, don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind Crazy Asakura's Crazy as Death? The motive in the case of Sakura's death was... What was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? It had to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. So the theme of that fourth one was, uh... Um, uh, blackmail? But trail secrets. Let me try blackmail. That's it. Not a kill, blackmail, ogre to get her to kill us. La la la, honey's not here. None. You died. What? Shut up. Hey, we call Black Man, I call doing business. Seriously, you just don't get it. <laughs> There's no doubt that Monokuma tried to coerce Sakura into killing one of us. But that's not what led to Sakura killing herself. Um, okay. Maybe I worded it wrong. It was a uh, betrayal. Betrayal, dumbass. It was obvious. In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely, see. Once there be a sacrifice betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all my question, Kurt. How painful do you like me? What's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Horses, secret, money, betrayal. These are all from the same mothers, right? The most remote rumble on the moment. All in the middle of the road. But of course, those are the only mothers that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other. Being in the space of the world. This is what we refer to as the seed of despair. Seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth and living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. Not nourishment is hope, the despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin divided by razor thin lines such as hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? We aren't discuss. What are we discussing on missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you will listen, you will see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is, the CEO spirit is closely tied to your own memories. How so? You see, by taking away your memories, I give you hope. Of course, that hope merely isn't to be consumed by despair. How could you take away some of memories to give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway. Is that so? Only being able to think about during time here is hard to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. I guess that's true. What are you talking about? If none of you want to skip the school, the killing there would have taken place. This is why we took your memories, so that you would have desired to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Correct the man though! Which means, if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? How the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> Most troubling thoughts, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I must 
ever did to create hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okay, Doki, like they say, sing is believing. I'd like you for you to see the outside world. The outside world? You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. So are you interested in what I have to say? You wanna see what's out there? <laughs> I wanna see too. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> now then, open it up. Behold the world beyond the school world. This is outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. What the fuck? Is this Cap? No. There's like some cultist shit right here. What the? Dangerous. What has grown so very dangerous? That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense, man. What am I looking at? Just a scene from a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? This whole thing's insane. The world is locked away with the memories that were taken away from you. If you can remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> but kick your brain in the ass because it's up to that great lump whenever you live or die. I remember it a freaking excuse no more because now it's the time for the final class trial. Well, I think that's. I think we should probably stop here then for today, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, dumb vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. If it'll let me save. There we go. Wow, what a what a twist though, huh? Oops. It's not like it's not gonna let me save, is it? Yeah, it's not letting me save. I Good job, Dumbo. I, I guess we'll have to do this one real quick. You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you tell us you're not in love. How am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody can remember anything. What does that say? This is the end of all of us. If I can't remember, is it all over? I mean, how could she show me something so completely incomprehensible than just to say remember? Every single one of us has lost her memory. It really is hopeless, after all. There's a chance that she hasn't forgotten. So it's, uh... Genocide Jack's memory? Is that, is that even a point I have? What does yeah. it say? Um... Coco and Genocide Jack share certain fundamental knowledge. Their memories are separate. Oh... I think I see what they're trying to yeah. say here. Hi. Let's see. Boom. The second it lets me say, I'm going to call it here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a bit abrupt. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I don't know how long- I think this is like- this is like an entire ass class trial, right? <laughs> well, I told you, you can't do this. <laughs> it's like two separate trials. It's two separate trials in one, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 
I wanted to get my uh, my keyboard. All right, everybody. So, well, thank you for watching. Chapter eight. Told you, chapter eight. Chapter There's eight. Two separate. Yeah, two separate trails. Whoa! Uh -huh. No way. Well, anyways, everybody, thanks for watching Danganronpa with the Bon Bon. Make uh -huh. sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. To veggie. Yeah, to veggie. And make sure to check out Cinnabon at Kofoo on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, not Twitter. I don't know why. I, that's, like a, um, that's like an old habit. I, I, I still have Twitter. It's fine. <laughs> well, if you want to go check out Twitter too, that's fine. But she or, mostly uses or Instagram. Or Thread. Thread? Yeah, Thread. It's from Insta. Yeah, go check that out. But anyways, uh, we'll see everybody in the next class trial. So Justice see... for me. <laughs> yeah, justice for Bun Bun. See everybody then. Bye. Bye.